I wanted to give y'all an update on my water-cooled TIG torch situation. I got the Alpha TIG welder made by AHP, and I got a CK Worldwide water-cooled flex head torch, a 20 series, and of course the hardware that came with those two things don't mate up. We're all learning through this process. I didn't know which way to go with this, and since I didn't buy it at my local welding store, they don't carry this, you gotta buy it online. It's a little bit more of a challenge when you do that, but it's okay. I called CK, I called Baker's Gas, where I bought the uh, torch from, and they were a lot of help, and again, not sponsored by anybody. I just like to give good info on companies when they're really helpful. So once again, to go through, you've got your typical DENS connectors on the welder, you've got a quick connect gas outlet, and then on the water cooler, in and out water flow again with quick connects. So what comes with the torch is your gas line here, which I do believe uh, the water output is a left hand thread. So your gas line, your water out to the torch, and the water return, which you'll notice is a massive 7 8 connection. This is also your electrical connection to the torch. So after talking to Bakers and after talking to CK, what you get, and I'll put a link to these down below. If anybody buys this torch, I'll put a link in there. It's the SL what? <laughs> That's the, <laughs> the part number of it. But in here, everything should connect through the clamshell. And then there's also an additional fitting uh, to connect for the gas. And I will get all this set up here in a second. Let me open this up, open the clamshell, and then we'll take a look at how it all fits together. Okay, let's look at what comes in the adapter package. You actually only get one additional fitting that goes with it, and you're gonna have to buy a second one. Again, I'm gonna put all the part numbers and links to buy them down below, but you need to order two separate things. But first off, real nice design by CK. Take off the retainer nut and press here, where it says press here, and it just kind of pushes this little clamshell piece out. Pop out this, and what goes in here, again, this is the, um, return to the water cooler. And this is a left-handed thread. This also provides the electrical current to the torch itself. I'm gonna snug these down for real before I actually use them with a wrench. I'm just doing it kind of quick right now to show y'all how this seats in here. There's a little groove collar in here. And then this goes back down in and then collar nut back on. So this will go to your TIG torch connection on the welder. Now, you have, again, uh, two fittings that came with it. And interestingly enough, what came with it is the water return fitting and the gas fitting, excuse me, the, the two water line fittings. It did not come with a gas fitting. So we're going to hand thre threaded this one on. This is the output. So basically out to the torch. And then this will go on this right here. And again, left hand thread. This will be the return from the torch. That'll then <clears throat> circulate back through this cable back to the torch, and then your gas line to your machine, this is what you need a setting, a separate fitting for. And again, it's a QDGAB, I believe, uh, or QDGA0. I'll include the link to what I bought in here. All total, this was about $100 for this adapter and this fitting, and this is a standard type of argon fitting, right-hand thread, and this will quick connect to your machine. So now my torch will have gas flow for argon and of course water supply to it to cool the torch head and return back to the tank to cool the, the fluid back down. So that's it. Now once I seat everything down and I'm going to put a video up for this other cart and redo my welding cart, I'll have all this on one uh, setup and I'll get this fired up and start running some beads and show you guys what you think about it or rather what I think about it and get your opinions on it. If you have any questions about this or if I missed anything, please leave a comment below. Thanks a lot and have a great day.